moving and uh, you know having more of an update you know hopefully tomorrow but you know he's back there being evaluated and you know but I would say that uh, the way it looked I think that uh, you know it's probably better than, than how it looked so he's alert and uh, he's in the training room being evaluated how uh, tough to lose at the end and just yeah, I mean, you don't lose it late. You know, I mean, there's always other things that that go into it. Opportunities missed, or their ability to to make a play, you know, when they needed to. Um, it was good to see us, you know, continue to fight and get a stop, have an opportunity, you know, get the ball down there, and you know, just trying to get it in the end zone, you know, which is what we had to do. You know, they, they made the play. Can you kind of take us through the sequence before the end of the first half? Uh, the field goal, the, the drive there. Um, yeah, I mean, what, uh, what, 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 what's the? Well, the, um, the third and ten run with, with maybe an opportunity to take a shot at the end zone. Yeah, I mean, it just felt like we you know, needed to, to, to secure points right there. Been through this before and other opportunities of third and ten, you know, down there where there's not a whole lot of space. And again, um, yeah, I don't whether we should have, you know, I just, I just felt like the, the getting the points right there was, was critical. And if we bust a run and they're back, then then great, we break one. Um, but just didn't figure, you know, that was that was good for us. So have you failed that? Well, I think you always try to learn from every experience, and um, you know, felt like the way that it was going, um, that those points were going to be critical. Didn't want to, you know, put put anybody in a situation except, especially the quarterback in his, um, you know, second start on the road in this environment. And you know, again, if it was you know, third and five, and we felt like you know, a little bit favorable down in distance. That's that's the decision that we made. I mean, how so that with the three, were you conservative with three straight runs on the second to last possession before Brooks got hurt? Um, felt like you know maybe four down, four down territory. Uh, thought we maybe you know again we've had other opportunities where we've caught them in some third down defense. You know, slipped in it, it just wasn't executed very well, and so. You know, I, I don't have an issue with, with the with the call. I, you know, I mean, knowing that we were going to go for it on fourth down, thought we may be able to slip. You know, one of the more elusive players, especially on our team, if not you know throughout the league, having an opportunity to slip a run in there when maybe they're running up the field or they're pass rushing, you know, didn't 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 go that way. I mean, so a lot of certainly calls and performances and executions that that can be um, second guessed and. I told Timmy that you know, obviously it was four down. You know, that's the call that we made. How do you feel that was executed yeah. the, the offense just in this loud environment? And all I, you know, um, uh, fairly well. You know, again, no, no, no delay of games. Um, getting, getting us in, and, and again, there were some things that you know, will have to be better as, as far as just directionally, and, and but you know, I think that it's. It, it, it was, again, we, we lost, so I'm not going to sit there and glorify that uh, in his performance, but there were some good throws. There was, you know, some good protections, close on a couple runs. Third down was, was certainly uh, a large factor in, in this game. Was the time you get the ball to trail on that fourth down, or was that just Will making a read in coverage? Um, well, he was pressed, and again, we were trying to get the ball downfield to, to trail in and thought that that was a good opportunity. You know, there's, a lot, you know, the quarterback has a lot of decisions when we call play, and I like that decision. You know, just would have liked to come down with it, and you know, those are things that that Traylon, uh has done for us in the past and, and need to continue to do. Um, you know, they're pressed up there, and you know, isolated coverage on the backside. You're 
Yeah, just troubling to lose. Well, you know what I mean? Whether you're at home or on the road or in London, you know, you lose. You put a lot into it, played hard. You know, I don't think we played uh, well enough in, in really any phase to, to take control of the game uh, when we had an opportunity. Felt like we had some momentum and, you know, couldn't, couldn't capitalize on it. How much of a challenge to have somebody line and get hurt and shuffling guys in and out? Well, it's this opportunity for another guy and, you know, give Dylan credit for popping in there and give Corey credit for popping in there and Daniel Brunskill for playing through and battling and competing. Um, you know, that's how it goes. You mentioned not having a lot of room, Mike, in the red zone. Was it a matter of what they were doing defensively, though, or just lack of execution on your, your offense? Part? Yeah, I mean, we'll take a look at the film. I just, when I say a lot of room, I meant like third and ten it is not – is a – is a tougher place to to try to convert uh, down there when there's not a whole lot of space and the safeties aren't quite as deep, you know. And you're looking at maybe two minute, and we're able to throw, you know, one of those in cuts in there that we did twice tonight. Th those wouldn't be there. And so uh, the reason is that you got to be better, you know, getting so that you avoid third and tens, that that you have some some better drive starters down there. Your time down there on that play was a third and ten. You don't have the faith in your guys to be able to protect the play that you need to get the touchdown. That's what it boils down to, right? Uh, no, I mean, yeah, what's your question again? I apologize. You felt like you asked and answered a question without me answering it. What's the question? On that third and ten, you can't drop back to throw to the end zone the way you wanted to in Cleveland. You, you've established that you can't. You can't do it because. Again, that's not a question, Paul. Answer, uh, ask a question. You said I'm nothing. Asking, is the reason that you can't execute that play because you don't have the protection that you need to do? No, there was there was some protection there. It was a decision that we made to to take the points, uh, secure possession of the ball, um, and, and score, uh, and then get the ball back in the second half. That so that was. Uh, sorry, if you throw an incompletion on on third down, you can take the points on fourth down. Yeah, we just again flow of the game, um, how how that you know sequence of plays went, somewhat uh, frustrated, and so made a decision to to hand the ball off on third and ten in the red zone. I'm not sure. I mean, we we played a good run defense around here for a long time, and so you know we we need to start. Uh, you know, playing, playing better, putting our hands in people's chests, and, you know, it wasn't about the offense. Like, we, you know, we need to uh, – we got, we got to play better run defense. And so that's uh, – you know, again, we didn't think affected the quarterback very well. Um, you know, we, we got to tackle better. We had too many loose plays, big runs. So, yeah, Gentry, I agree. You know, it's – Throw somebody around, shed a block, make a tackle. Mike, how will the second start? I mean, there was so much four touchdowns, you know, so much after his first start. How did the second start look to you? Same way it looked for everybody, not not good enough. Same way it looked for every single person that was with the Titans tonight. That's that's how it goes. The pass rush, a lot of zero sacks. I think it was what, two, two QBs hit what really blow up that. Just, I get me. It's, it, you get, you got to win. You got to line up, and you got to win, and you got to execute. And uh, you know, there's no secret formula. You know, it's, I mean, we can we can blitz all day. Uh, that brings you know challenges. I mean, we can mix you know pressure, uh, but you got to line up, and 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 you gotta you gotta beat somebody, and and that's what defensive football comes uh, down to. So you feel your guys are consistently winning those matchups up front? No. I mean, if they were, we would hit the quarterback and we would make sacks. And I mean, if they were consistently doing that, I mean, that's they know that. Like, so we have to, you know, keep keep working and keep forcing them into longer yardage situations. And then, you know, if ultimately make a decision, if you can't send four, then you send five. And then, you know, you're running out of guys. You can send six, and you know, that's blitz zero. Well, I guess what you're 
overall thought maybe as you guys leave here tonight? I mean, losing sucks, um, especially at this level. You know, it's just so hard to win games, and when you got an opportunity like that to win it at the end, it doesn't happen. It makes it feel a whole lot worse. But I mean, credit to them. They made the plays when they needed to, and we didn't. Uh, got to get back to work. Well, I saw you sitting there just kind of with your eyes closed. I don't know if you were reflecting on the game or what, but what was going through your mind in the locker room? Uh, you know, just trying to replay in my mind a little bit some of the things that happened. And obviously, uh, the knee-jerk reactions are obviously a little different than once you go back and watch the tape. And things are usually not as bad as they seem, or if they're really good, they're not as good as they seem. So, um, you know, just trying to replay in the heat of the moment, how I felt in that moment, what I could have done, but uh, just needed to take a couple breaths. What were the particular moments that came to mind, I guess? Uh, just the, the end of half and the end of game situations, uh, specifically just the end of the game. Um, a couple throws I missed here and there, a couple, you know, that last one just trying to make a play and how, how it could have turned out differently. Like maybe take a shot somewhere else, but uh, need to give him, give him a ball one want to Josh to climb the ladder for me and need to give him one to jump up and go get. So, uh, didn't make the play. I'm going to do but my best to make it next time. You mentioned the end of the half on the third and ten. I, I, I guess most quarterbacks would, would like a chance to throw it in that end zone there, knowing that an incompletion gets you the field goal and, and maybe there's a touchdown to be had there. Is that something you think about a little bit? Uh, not really. I was pumped with us to go down and be able to get points. I mean, in that minute 16, I think it was, uh, to get down there and just get anything. Uh, I think was a win for us. Obviously, we want to get the touchdown, but we want to be smart and uh, I trust the coaches with their play calls. And we're going to go out there and execute whatever that is. Like you guys moved the ball. Well, like, how can you tell you moved it? I guess not been able to finish some of those drives. Is maybe what probably you get to remember most. Yeah. No, I mean, got to finish drives. Uh, the yards don't mean anything if if you don't finish those drives for sure. I mean, we're not going to force anything, but or we're just going to do our jobs and play the field position battle if we need to. But obviously, you want to you want to score points. And um, couldn't get it done as much as we needed to tonight. Well, they, you know, they do a good job of rushing the quarterback all the time anyway. But do you feel about hanging in there until the last second, making after throws and that? So much did a pretty good job of that tonight. Just trust my guys up front. I mean, they did a whole lot, a heck of a job. I mean, we rotated a bunch of guys in there tonight. So I mean, I'm I'm proud of how those dudes stepped up and played. Um, I'm trusting them regardless of who we go against to be able to step up and to keep my eyes downfield. Um, so I just gotta gotta keep playing that way, keep trusting them, knowing that we're gonna we're gonna hold up. How do you handle the operation and everything in this style of environment? I mean, no delayed game, and then especially on that last drive, where the guys said you were really composed. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty loud. I've been I've been in louder, so I mean, it was nothing nothing crazy. But um, I think we did a good job of simulating the the environment during practice this week of making it, you know, even louder than I feel like it was out there. Just so we were we were good on the operation, the communication. But uh, hey, those those fans showed out, and they they didn't make it easy for us, but. Uh, we, we, got the, we got the job done for the most part, operation-wise. You made some throws with people hitting you, with people holding on to you. How, how confident are you that if, if you're alive and in play, you can, odds are you can do something with it? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's give and take. Like, obviously, if the, if the throw's there, you want to know when you have the opportunity to make the throw. Sometimes when the guy's draped over you, you know that it could affect the path of the ball or whatever. But, I mean, I'm just, it's just a feel thing. It's a trust thing with me and uh, just my ability to throw the ball. and. I'm going to keep feeling that out as I keep playing these games because obviously, you know, these are the only opportunities where I do get hit. So um, just trusting the guys that they're going to get to the ball and trusting that I can make the throws. How do you think, that, do you think that's gone? Will? Like, do you think you've done pretty well with that so far? Uh, pretty well. I mean, obviously, only have one game of tape to go off of. Um, I, I think tonight there were, there were a couple points I can think of where um, we were able to hold up enough and give me enough time to, to get the ball off, even if someone did eventually, you know, touch me. But um, that's what it takes to win in this league, to make plays like that. Trey made a great effort on that one play to see him make that effort and get carted off. How tough was that? It was tough. I mean, that's scary. That's, I mean, it's a scary part of this game, uh, the fact that you know someone gets carted off the field and we just act like it didn't happen, you know. But, I mean, that's football. Uh, it's, it's part of the game that we have to accept. Uh, I mean, I'm praying for him, um, sending him all my love, hope, hoping that he's going to be okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, he almost made a heck of a play. Do you have a chance to, you have a chance to talk to him or see him? I just pat him on the shoulder here. Uh, it seems like I'm not going to speak for him, but um, he's up and moving, so that's a good sign. Will, as, as a rookie, do you feel like you've earned your, your teammates' respect the last couple of games of late play? I mean, I don't, I don't need to think about that. I'm just trying to do my job and uh, 
I'm not looking for approval from anybody. I'm just trying to go out and win games and do what's asked of me at the position. You talked about the atmosphere kind of leading in, circling this game. Did it kind of live up to what you thought it would? And I know most when they were playing Renegade, you seemed like you were into it, kind of into the moment. Yeah, I mean, that's just, you got you got to enjoy environments like this. I mean, this football, like you got to have fun with it. If you're not having fun with it, then um, why are you playing it? You know. So I mean, that's that's a cool little tradition that they got here. Obviously, Steelers is a historic franchise, and they've been doing that for I don't know, like 20 years now or whatever. And uh, the song's a banger. It's a good, it's a good song. <laughs> so we've been playing it all week at practice, and it's been stuck in my head. So it was cool to cool to see the real thing. After taking all those deep shots last week, did you feel like they were trying to take those away? Was it more difficult to kind of push the ball around? Field? Uh, yeah. I mean, credit to them. They they they. They guarded us well. They, they, they had a good game plan defensively, I thought, um, and to, to limit some of those shots, I feel like. Um, but, uh, you know, just by the game plan, we, we, we didn't have um, as many opportunities as last week just because of how they were playing us. And, uh, you know, you just got to play the position and, and take the throws they give you. Uh, a couple more. The highs high last week tonight, I'm really disappointed. How do you kind of manage emotions maybe from, from week to week? And I guess that's got to be key to be a good NFL. I uh, just stay neutral, not letting the highs get you too high, not letting the lows get you too low, like you just said. Um, I mean, even if I had the same game I did last week, I feel like how I wake up tomorrow morning and how I prepare for, for next week is would, would be the same. So that's important, especially at this position, uh, just to keep a neutral attitude about everything, um, and I do my best to do that. You mentioned not worrying about you know, winning anybody's approval. Do you think, though, you've earned the right to be starting quarterback the rest of the season? That's not my decision. I'm going to let the coaches make that decision. I'm just keep doing my job. Good look at the jacket. Good look at the yeah, it's just sweet. Yeah, I love this. They gave this to us at the rookie premiere out in L.A. Uh, me and Tajay went out there uh, before training camp. So shout out to the NFL PA. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool jacket. Kyle had the best night since he's been with the team. Maybe what do you like about him? What was good about that connection? He just ran good routes. I trusted him. Um, I mean, the, the, one, the one connection we had down the middle in two minutes was something that me and him had talked about uh, pregame. So, I mean, for, for us to get the coverage that we were looking for to hit that, uh, that was a cool moment between us. And I felt him, and uh, he was there for me all night when I needed him. So, I mean, just he's got we got to keep working and trusting that uh, he can be a good part of this offense. And um, I know that he's going to keep balling out. Well, but just too many field goals, not enough uh, touchdowns tonight. That's the summary of it. I mean, I think you saw and we played, and that's exactly what happened. We just... And get in the end zone, and you know it cost us. How do you think uh, Will handled everything tonight? The environment, the defense, all that. I mean, we were right in the thick of things to the end. Uh, we just came up short. I thought he did a great job. With that, though, I mean, the offensive line obviously going through it a little bit on the injury front. How for you as a running back to see them kind of grinding out guys like Brunt Skill finishing the game, even though he's clearly not right. How how big a factor was that for you guys to kind of? Get yourselves back into it. I mean, that's just the mindset of those guys, the toughness that they have, um, the resiliency to get back in there, even though they're hurting. I um, know we all appreciate it, and um, you know they appreciate them sticking it out and trying to do the best they can. What would you say is the reason why things are so different on the road as opposed to at home? It seems like you know home games, offense is blown, everything's going right, but on the road, kind of sputter a little bit. I think execution. Um, I think just. Um, executing, um, you know, when we need to get points in the red zone and um, letting those drive finish in touchdowns. We're not able to do that right now. Um, we just got to figure it out um, and get back to work. Do you think anything's causing specifically the lack of execution, or is it just one-on-one -on -one matchups you're not winning? It's just as a whole, just not executing like we need to. Three and five, Derek. Uh, obviously, you guys have dug a little bit of a hole for yourselves. What's got to be the mindset when you come back for the mini bye week and you're ready for Tampa? Come back and get to work, um, get better. Same things we always say. Um, focus on winning, getting a winning column. Because um, you know, in this league, you keep losing. You know, you're gonna be out of it. And you know, like you said, we dug ourselves in the hole. So. Because just got to have a sense of urgency, and um, you know, we just got to lead, and we just all got to step up and play better. How confident were you on those last couple of drives that one of them was going to find the end zone, take the lead back? I mean, I'm never not confident in us 
you know, trying to go score, win a game, always confident in my teammates and my team.